Guten Morgen! Willkommen in Stuttgart! Hello one and all, welcome to Scene Through Glass and welcome to Stuttgart in Germany. I've effectively bought my 911 Carrera T home because if you don't know, Stuttgart is the HQ headquarters of Porsche. But today, I'm not going to the Porsche factory, instead, I'm going to the Hockenheim ring because today is the official start of the DTM series. If you don't know, DTM, the Deutsche Tourenwagen Masters, uh, one of the most iconic touring car series in the world. It's probably not got the grandeur that it used to have in the, I guess, 80s and 90s, uh, but it's still absolutely epic and it is supported by Porsche Carrera Cup, who I'm attending with today, and the brand new W Series, the all-female open wheel Formula Series that they hope is eventually going to be a Formula One feeder. So I think it's going to be an amazing day. And random fact about me, the highest grade I achieved at school was an A star in my GCSE exams, an exam you take at 15 or 16 years old, and I got that grade in German. However, some Near, oh my god, nearly 15 years later. Oh, that's depressing. Nearly 15 years later and all I can say is Guten Morgen. I'm not even sure I'm pronouncing that right. So it's not going to be a lot of German spoken in this video, but there's going to be a lot of German action. So let's do this. If I don't get sick today, it will be a miracle. Wow, it is really quite miserable out there. So you find me in the safety and the security that is Porsche Hospitality. As I mentioned, I'm here with Porsche for the Carrera Cup, the German Carrera Cup. That is going on throughout today, as well as the first DTM race of the series and the W Series, as I mentioned. But right now, I'm just trying to warm up and dry off and work out where I can go and what I can film. I'm going to be trying to do a bit of a behind the scenes, the paddock and the pit lane and uh, individuals and characters as I come across them. So I'm currently getting all the W Series information off Twitter because Porsche don't show the W Series inside their hospitality. I'm not sure if you can see this and I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be showing you this as well but can you see currently who's in pole of the W series? You may recognize her name, Jamie Chadwick. I filmed a video with her about a year or so ago and she is currently in pole position, six minutes to go but ah, fingers crossed. Forgive the uh, current attire slash outfit. <laughs> this is the only way that I can survive being out here today. But this is a pretty impressive car park. You see behind me, the German Carrera Cup field. I think maybe missing one or two cars that boffed it in uh, one of the earlier sessions, but this is the majority of the field. And so just to recap for any of you that don't know, these cars are slightly modified GT3s. Um, as you can see, much bigger wings. They have racing gearboxes, some added racing suspension, much lighter interior. So just the one seat roll cages, all those sort of elements that they need to go racing. But fundamentally, they are still 911s and GT3s, which is quite ridiculous, which is why it's one of the most popular customer racing cars and series in the world. I think to date, 4,000 Carrera Cups have been sold to teams and individuals. It's absolutely ridiculous. And also, this is... Okay, you have to be extremely wealthy to take part. Well, not extremely wealthy, but you have to be wealthy to take part. But this feels like an achievable sort of racing series for an amateur like me. I think this is the way to go about it. It's like Ferrari Challenge, Lamborghini. Is it Super Trofeo for the customers? or Squadra Corsa, Super, Super Trofeo and Carrera Cup, the three sort of most appealing single make series, manufacturer, customer car racing. But anyway, there you go, Carrera Cup cars. I might have mentioned that DTM's heyday is probably a little bit behind it, but it's trying to come back strong. However, it has lost some manufacturers. So over the years, loads of different makes have taken part, usually always German makes, but, but 
others have joined in. Right now, all that is left, BMW and Audi, Merck have now disappeared. But Aston Martin have joined the fold, somewhat surprisingly, with a heavily modified Vantage. DTM cars have to adhere to quite strange rules. So Audi take part with the RS5, BMW take part with the M4. So as you can imagine, a Vantage doesn't really fit in to that shape. So the Vantage that is racing as part of DTM is really unrecognizable, but it is here, uh, has been entered, and those are the three makes taking part in the main DTM racing. So here we go then, an actual DTM car. This is the Audi RS5 DTM. I mean, it's barely recognizable as an actual RS5. The body kit or the body parts on this car are ridiculous. I mean, it effectively has a front wing. I mean, the canard, the extended front splitter, everything about this car is so purposeful and mean. DTM cars, some of the most sort of uh, track efficient touring cars in the world and it's very very obvious to see that look at the side of this thing the bits hanging off it are ridiculous it must be amazing to drive um, it is as I say from the side really quite unrecognizable as an Audi RS5 I would I dream of the day where someone probably in America puts a DTM-esque body kit onto a car I think I've seen some pictures on Instagram of somebody giving it a go but yeah this thing just looks Look at the wing hanging off the back of it. Absolutely crazy. I, want, I mean, they must be so much fun to drive. The grip you must be able to generate through the corners must be crazy. Um, but yeah, very good looking, as I say. One of three cars competing in this year's DTM, going up against the BMW M4 and that heavily modified Aston Martin Vantage. Well, once again, back at Porsche Hospitality, this really is a safe haven today. I tried to just go and talk to Jamie Chadwick, because as that you saw earlier, she's on good. pole. She, she kept that position to the end of the you session. She is on pole for the race, which starts a little bit later. So I wandered down to the W Series Hospitality and very quickly got ejected from that place. I don't have the right credentials. I'm here, as I mentioned, with Porsche and not W Series. So whilst Jamie was like waving like, hey! I wasn't able to go in, so hopefully I'll find her later somewhere. Uh, I wasn't going to beg her to come out into the cold and the rain just before her race start, because if she has any kind of issues later, and it was to do with a um, sniffly nose or feeling cold, I would have felt awful. So yes, I will relax here, enjoy my cappuccino, take in the sights and the sounds, and hopefully find Jamie later. I have just found out, though, I've got access to the Porsche Carrera Cup grid. That's going to be pretty cool. The DTM race is now over. Unfortunately, I didn't have the right to show you footage of that race. As often is the way when you attend big global racing events, you can't often show the actual on-track action on YouTube. However, that is not the case for the Carrera Cup because Porsche have hooked me up so I can bring you footage of the German, the Hockenheim round of the Carrera Cup. And right now, you might be able to see, I'm on the pit wall overlooking the main street because it is grid walk time. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do a Martin Brundle impression try and grab drivers but we're gonna have a little walk around see what's going on just get in the mix because yeah it's exciting and then following this race is the W Series race where Jamie Chadwick's on pole so yeah let's kick it off now No, go, 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 do it. <laughs> Last time I saw Jamie, I nearly crushed her to death while she was in a go kart and I was in a catering. And now she is the centre of attention. The buzz around her is huge. Um, it's kind of awesome to see and well deserved. 
but obviously getting a, a few minutes with her to chat on the vlog isn't the easiest thing to do but I want her to concentrate and focus on her job at hand and not waste her time chatting with me and so uh, much more important that she speaks with her engineers and all the media partners of W Series and I can just uh, continue to support her from the sidelines so yes back to Porsche hospitality to uh, to watch the live stream of the race and cheer her on and then we'll see I think I'm gonna have to leave and I imagine she can have a lot more media commitments after the race but you never know you never know we'll try third time's a charm isn't it isn't that what it's supposed to be What an absolute hero. I'm actually so chuffed. Jamie Chadwick, fastest in practice, qualifying, and the race. Led, why well, she shouldn't leave it, lead every lap. There was quite an exciting moment where she uh, went a little bit too long in one of the corners and then had to retake the lead, but she did, like a balls. Um, so, as I mentioned earlier, hopefully, third time's a charm. Let's go down towards the W Series hospitality and see if we can grab a fall of two sex. Congrats. Didn't make that I easy. No, literally when you Very went along with that hairpin, I was like, no, please! Yeah. <laughs> and you like a, bossed it. Oh, I don't know, it's hard, like really, really hard? low grip. Um, and then I was struggling with like getting down the gearbox. So then I was just stressed about like the downshifts the whole race. Were they giving you a hard time? The two, it was Alice and, or were um, you kind of managing it? Uh, no, I kind of managed it. Yeah. Um, so like, because I kind of knew where I was stronger and where I was weaker, but I just didn't want to make mistakes because I knew it's very easy for them to pounce if you make mistakes. Oh so. I have to say, it was, ex it was exciting to watch. Uh, uh, this is um, Annie. Sorry, hi, I'm Sam. Hi, Sam. Um, very nice to meet you. Sam is a YouTuber. Do you like being called a YouTuber? I don't know. It's a bit of an odd name, a YouTuber. I don't know if it's Are you an influencer? No, that's even worse. No, <laughs> you got a... Can you yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're such a big deal now, I can't keep up. The PR from all of this is mental. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, I was a no one when I met you. No. <laughs> no. What's going on? I can't keep up on the glass. I was so. like, oh, he's getting loads of followers because he's in the glass. <laughs> I'll get you some followers now, don't worry. Thank you so much. <laughs> Honestly, the biggest deal in Hockenheim. This is just so good, so well deserved, but mad considering, as I say, last time we were on an abandoned go kart track. Look, <laughs> congratulations once again. Uh, I will be following the series now, and I hopefully everyone else will too. And they can follow you on Instagram and all that stuff, and hopefully I'll see you soon enough at the top know, step of to another back. race. I, I know, like I'm going to have to. Yeah, <laughs> gonna maybe. Have to keep I'll be at every single W Series race ever, but anyway, like, awesome, good, good to see you. I'll see you soon. <laughs> I've definitely got a cough. And I need to bail because we've got about an hour and a half, two hour drive back to our hotel. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video, especially all the Porsche Carrera Cup content. Huge thanks to Porsche for inviting me down and giving me today's access. Give it a thumbs up if you've liked the video and make sure to subscribe for plenty more videos to come. Check out this MSO P1. Now, some of you who well, watch a lot of online car content may think you recognize this car as the super high mileage Japan P1. Uh, a load of content was made on it uh, as a sort of daily driven P1. This isn't that car, it's the exact same colour. So 